Well, apparently things are going pretty well. It had been mentioned before you had an agreement with, with ROH through June, but then it emerged recently, new contract. I mean, well, and that's got to feel good because that means that they they liked the way that things were going. And the fact that you re-signed uh, indicates that you like the way things are going. Although in the past, there may have been some re-signings where you didn't like the way things were going. But this seems to be working out for everybody. <laughs> I would never do that. That doesn't <laughs> sound like me at all. Um, no, this, yeah, this is kind of one of those mutual agreements where it was like, we wanted to get something done and crazy. They wanted to get something yes. done. We were like, Oh, this is what happens when two people want to work together. Great. It wasn't like trying to pull teeth. And so when we discussed it, like you said, early on, it was one of those things where it was like, Hey, you haven't been here in a while. We're still in a pandemic let's have like a grace period to figure yeah. out if we both want to do it. I was like, totally understand. I went in, I went balls to the wall. I, I knew that that's where I wanted to be. So I was like, I'm just going to commit everything to them to show them that. And I think they saw that and they were like, yeah, you know, we kind of feel the same way. So then at that point, we just kind of sat down and it was, this might've been the easiest negotiation I've ever had in my life, which I just, at this point in my career, I'm so thankful for. Do you want to give us any length amounts, dollar amounts, your social security number, your mother's maiden will, name, their, your first will, pet, yeah. the street they lived on? Any any information like that you want to give us? Yes, I will give you my two kids. You can have them. No, um, <laughs> so uh, I, I'll tell you. So the length is it's definitely till the end of this year. Okay. And then um, most likely an extra year after that. Okay. Um, but there's a ton of wiggle room for renegotiation for length and whatever. So like I said, we're in the middle of a pandemic and I want to be there and they want me there. So I'm willing to go and maneuver around every which way, because at this point in my career, I'm just going to go where I'm happy. And the ring of honor is what's making me happy at the point. So it's like, if they come to me and they're like, Hey, we need to hold off on this or we, we need to do this. I'm all on board because I want to be the ring of honor guy. Like that's kind of where I'm at in my career. I think uh, ROH did a lot of good for themselves and how they treated their talent during the pandemic because it was universally positive. A guy like Sledge, for example, who I interviewed, people did not know that he was signed because he signed right before the pandemic, didn't get to technically debut for a full year. And they're like, no, we believe in you. We believed in you then. We're going to re-sign you again. The way that they're taking care of you guys, how, how stringent they were, that's, I mean, that's got to speak volumes not to not to crap on anybody else but i mean this company really went above and beyond to show their wrestlers that they cared yeah and man i think that's a big reason why i'm willing to kind of work with them on whatever they want um not just for me but like i i'm a big i i believe we're all in this together i believe all the rest like i consider them family i don't have any friends outside of wrestling i know yeah. that's probably something i shouldn't brag about but i <laughs> all my friends are in wrestling so when i sat back and i saw that they were taking care of my friends and they were taking care of people that had just signed even some of the people that there are some people they and they, a lot of people might not know this there were some people they signed overseas that hadn't even ha had to got the chance to have a match yet and they got stuck overseas they still paid them Yep. I just think at a point, like we're going to look back at this pandemic and we're going to think, all right, a lot of crap went down. A lot of things happened. Let's look at the people who did it right, because this is a once in a lifetime deal. And we're going to look at it and go, wow, at this moment, at this time, Ring of Honor put these people over their profit. And I just think at this moment, we should talk about it because I think it's really cool. And so for me, it was like, okay, you're willing to work with me, then I'm absolutely willing to work with you. And let's figure this out because there will come a point where all this crap ends and we can just kind of go on with what we've been doing before.